All right, guys, uh, bivy sacks. Uh, as we mentioned before, bivy sacks are a great way to keep your system modular, to be able to carry weight and not carry weight. Uh, instead of worrying about a tent, if you wanted to go with a tarp or a poncho and have some waterproofness to your bag, uh, whether you're gonna be in extreme environments where it's gonna be extremely wet up here in the Northwest, it rains quite a bit. Uh, in the winter, we have quite a bit of snow. Um, and a lot of times, depending on the elevation, that snow is just below freezing. Um, depending on the day, it'll be melting during the day and freezing at night. And so you're going to get a lot of wetness, a lot of wet snow, condensation, concrete, you know, cascade concrete is what they call it. Um, so for your firepower, obviously if you're going to be using that military bag, the modular system, this is the bivy for it. But as I said before, that is two pounds, five ounces just for the Gore-Tex, but it's bulletproof. You know, you don't worry about it. It's, you know, you crawl inside that thing. You're not worried about where the rocks were, what sticks were there other than your comfort of, you know, sleeping on the rock. Um, that thing you could strap to the outside of your pad. If you got in a storm, you could just hunker down inside of it. Um, you would not worry about that. Now this is folded down about as small as it'll go. There's not a whole lot of air left in here. Um, whereas this guy, this is an outdoor research micro night bivy. Um, it is just a straight bivy. Uh, let's see here. Um, I've got it scrunched down about as much air as it could. You get a little bit smaller. Um, to give you a, a so reference size, I don't have one right here. I thought I did. Um, it's about the size of an Nalgene bottle. So picture an Nalgene bottle hanging on the side of your pack or inside your pack. Um, this is made out of the same Pertex material that I showed you in the jacket uh, and the clothing of uh, the Outdoor Research. They, it's sort of their version of Gore-Tex. Now, Outdoor Research does make stuff in the new three-layer Gore-Tex. Um, you know, it's probably going to be a little bit more heavy-duty for you. It's going to be a little more outlasting, and you can trust a little bit more. Um, depending on the environment and what you're looking for it to do, this is a great breathable waterproof material. I haven't had any problems with this yet. Um, again, this has nice little stakeouts um, I won't take it out right now well yeah I will sorry uh, one of the reasons I want to take this one out show, show some of the differences now the uh, military version covers your whole head everything pops over and you can be inside there there is no bug netting or anything to that um, and that is all Gore-Tex top and bottom the micro bivy here uses a, um, a heavy-duty nylon for the bottom so it's not going to wick any moisture. It's not, you know, completely waterproof, non-breathable on there. You do have lovely attachment points to stake down um, your sleeping bag system uh, with your bivy. There are also, you'll notice this top shiny part because um, the sun came out. Uh, that is that Pertex. That is a super thin, lightweight, stretches. Um, so, you, you know, you've got a little bit more mobility inside. It does have a really nice attachment point sort of near the head to lift that up off your face. Uh, sort of like a tent, there's no poles or anything to it, but you could throw some paracord up to a branch or work an A-frame over your head and pull that up over your face. Now, in a hotter environment, you can you can screw it up and have the uh, uh, bug netting here, or zip it up, and have the bug netting, and then be able to pull an attachment point from here and have, so there it is, and have the attachment point, so this is up and you have the bug netting. Um, hope that shows up well. But um, that is a great, great bag usage there. Uh, it keeps the bugs out. You're basically completely protected. If you just have maybe a poncho, uh, if you saw my night hike video, that's usually what I use. I uh, just bring a poncho with me. It works as a nice small tarp. If it really starts raining really heavy, I put my head in my bag underneath that tarp and the rest of the body, I don't, I don't really care. As long as I have some sort of insulation, like a sleeping bag on the inside, that rain's not gonna get to me. Uh, it's not going to make me wet. Uh, the coldness of the rain and the wind is not going to wick anything away from my body uh, because of sleeping bag. So you need to decide your uh, mobility and what you want to carry. 